What is going on you guys? Logan O'Brien. Super excited about today's video. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're talking about something on the Cardano ecosystem called the Indigo Protocol. Um, I'm super excited about Indigo and how it could affect us as humans and us as investors. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it, man, with the Batman hat. Let's do it. So Indigo is building assets on the blockchain. Indigo is an algorithmic autonomous synthetics protocol for on-chain price exposure to real-world assets built on Cardano. And I'm going to go through a few more slides and I'll sort of break down what that means. Um, so what is Indigo protocol? Indigo allows the creation of fungible assets, synthetics that track the price of real world assets. Indigo synthetics are intended to be used as key building blocks in smart contracts and to bring the world's assets to blockchain. All right. And then, um, so those who say Cardano know that Cardano hasn't yet launched smart contracts, but it's supposed to be coming out sometime around August this year. Um, smart contracts testing is in beta, so it's being tested and it has not been launched on what's called the mainnet yet. So um, if we look, there's minting, trading, pooling, staking, and governing that are the components of Indigo. And, um, you know, basically Indigo could be huge because A lot of y'all have used stock brokerages and crypto brokerage before, right? You know, you use E-Trade, and it is a centralized platform to where um, a company owns it and a few amount of people, namely the CEO and his boys, call all the shots, right? You know, they call all the shots, and the users don't have a lot of say over how things are run. But this is a lot different because Indigo... Um, is not centralized it is decentralized right and it is not tied down to one entity or to even one country's regulation it is decentralized throughout the world so um i think it's really huge because you can literally literally buy um the worth of an asset in any country you know if you want to buy a stock in China, a stock in India, a stock in America, wherever you're at. If you want to buy um, a commodity, if you want to buy the oil price of India or the oil price of Iran, Iraq, you can. And you'll be able to win Indico whenever, um, you know, whenever it launches. And we'll get into that more too. So you know, this is why I think that this is a huge opportunity, absolutely massive opportunity. And this is the way that I think that um, finance will go to. You know, um, there's ETFs and there's other things like that in the financial system right now. This is like next level ETF type stuff. This is craziness. So um, let's keep on going and I'll give you some of my thoughts as we go. Uh, so how can I use Indigo? Currently Indigo is in development, like I said before, and there's no way to interact with the protocol. However, application is launched. It will be both on web and mobile applications so, so you can interact with Indigo. So, you know, there'll be an app for that, <laughs> as they would say. So that's really cool. What are the key benefits of Indigo? Indigo will allow anyone, anywhere at any time, tokenize any asset and trade it. It allows people to enter markets they otherwise would not have access to. You, you, you know, like I said before, through decentralized finance, you can enter into other countries' markets without having um, the approval of their government because it's, it's, it's basically a, a synthetic stock or a synthetic commodity that is tracking the, the, the real commodity's price real time. So, so you get exposure to that and it's really cool. How can I earn Indy? Those who wish to earn Indy tokens can do so in two different ways, by liquidity to any asset pool pairs or by staking, um, or by staking Indy in the protocol. And okay, so Staking is really good because <clears throat> staking basically lessens the likelihood of, of people to sell out of an investment or an asset because you know, by staking there's certain rewards, um, namely there's usually interest bearing rewards 
for not selling your stake, stake staking, <laughs> in that asset. So staking is really cool, which is why I like proof of stake or proof of work, and that's a whole other debate that this video would be 35 minutes long if I went into, but okay. I assets. What are I assets? I assets are blockchain tokens that behave like synthetic versions of real world assets by reflecting the exchange prices on chain. They give traders the price exposure of real world assets. You know, like I said before, like I like I prematurely explained just then. Okay, what are the tokenomics of Indy? The tokenomics are under research and they'll be published in, in the medium soon. So <clears throat> specifics will be published soon. Let's get into um, the CEO. Thirteen years in the enterprise technology, Eric Coley. Uh, in 2012, launched a consulting agency focused on guiding businesses into scalable and hosted technology solutions of all kinds. And if you go on to read about him more, uh, he's not a noob. Eric was in the the Marines too, and uh, I think he did tech type stuff, um, for lack of a better term, in the Marines. So he's no noob. You know, he's been in to finance. He has knowledge, and he's going to lead the way. And the CI. CIO Dwayne Cameron is also pretty great in his own respect. Four years experience in management, consulting and software implementations where he led product development, data analysis, and strategic transformation projects in public sector organizations. He has a master's in finance too. And uh, he's a co-founder of the Liquid protocol, which is also on Cardano. And you know, basically Liquid is micro lending. And I'll probably do a video on that too because it's really cool. People in impoverished third world nations, um, <clears throat> a lot of times aren't poor because the company, company, because the country lacks resources. They're poor because the systems of the countries are broken, whether it be by corruption or just by mismanagement. Okay, so uh, you know you can send Sally, who's a farmer, a one thousand dollar micro loan, and you can put the interest rate at. Five, six percent, seven percent, even, and it'd be a lot better than what she gets because um, certain places in Africa, the interest rates are like 60, 70, 80 percent sometimes because there is no formalized credit system there. And so Cardano is working on sort of building Ethiopia and other countries in Africa credit systems, but that's a whole other topic that I can do another video on. But <laughs> I just want to give some context on that. And I listened to a 45 minute long interview from Eric Coley and Dwayne over here. And I'm gonna summarize it for y'all because I know a lot of people don't really have so much time. Uh, so Binance has a similar synthetic asset platform, but you know, except before, the Binance version is centralized, so there's less freedom and there's more chance of those situations that happen with Robinhood and other brokerages who limited trading during the GameStop and the AMC squeeze, they they halted trading in order to save their own hides. And they risked the money that all these traders and investors are putting into Robinhood for their own benefit. And, you know, I believe technology and brokerages need to be a service, not just to take people's money and not just a scam. So, um, you know, it's a lot more freedom, like I said before. And it's a lot more freedom because ownership is decentralized. So, you know, with ownership fragmented, there is a lot less risk of tyrannical takeover, basically. <clears throat> you know, there'll be demos of exactly how to use Indigo. So CEOs reiterated that. Secondary product offerings can be launched on Indigo. I think this would be huge too, because <clears throat> Indigo, so basically, Indigo will have synthetic assets that will be brought on by uh, the process of minting. So it will bring each specific asset onto the platform, right? And then from there, there's staking, there's other liquidity ways of doing things that will be furthermore discussed. And uh, secondary product offerings will, will be built on Indigo over time. And I think the opportunity for secondary offerings are vast and might even be more than what the protocol was originally designed for, I guess you could say, because with these secondary offerings, you know, you can bring on non fungible tokens, art, you bring on fungible tokens and currency, and you can basically bring on whatever is an asset, whatever can be 
considered as having value onto it as well. So possibility is limitless, basically. Eric Coley said that in the interview that Indy token is not a government security. This is big for tax reasons and for regulation as far as the SEC goes uh, with the United States. Indy <clears throat> um, is a governance token. And uh, you know, for those who live in the United States, that is a breakdown for y'all. Other people living in other parts of the world, um, check with your your country, your state, and they'll be able to tell you more. For more questions, you can follow Eric and Dwayne on Twitter. Um, I can I can leave the Twitter as well, so I might as well be of some use, right? All right. So the risk level. So uh, so what I want to say is that cryptos have a lot a lot of potential and if I could YOLO my whole savings in Cardano and stuff like <laughs> if I knew it was going up that'd be awesome right but that's not the way things work so beware of scams in 2017-2018 there was a lot of <clears throat> ICO craze initial crypto offerings so we're like IPOs except with crypto except a lot less regulation than what because ICOs aren't really regulated by the SEC because they're not a currency right so um you know beware of scams because not all cryptos and not all 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 ICO product launchers have your best interests at heart some of these guys aren't good people like not all of them are going to be honest and forthcoming and straight up and have society's best interests at heart some of them are going to just want to get rich at the expense of the investors <clears throat> uh, so some are scams Cryptos have high potential, but even if even, even they aren't scams, they're extremely volatile. You know, meaning if you look at the most stable crypto, Bitcoin, it's fallen what 40-50% in a matter of, of of a month. And it can go up and down and all around. So it's all about your specific risk tolerance. Only you know that, right? So so you know, if you're not if you don't have a really solid stomach. For volatility, you might just want to not invest <laughs> in Cardano for now. You might want to just stick to Bitcoin. You might just want to stick to stocks. You might just want to stick to the SP 500. But what I'm trying to do is, you know, I'm trying to make the world a better place with what I learn and through the information that I shell out to others and through what I invest in as well. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to better not only myself, I'm trying to better, better the world and trying to inform people of these upcoming industries because so people can get in before Wall Street gets in, before all these big hedge funds get in, um, and before there's a lot of regulation on this because regulation's coming. Everything's going to be regulated, especially if it gets to, to some degree. And things are going to be a lot easier to use, too. Um, I can wait for the day whenever, whenever you don't have to go through meta masks to be able to invest in something before it gets to coinbase before it blows up and so the design of platforms for investing in cryptos will get a lot better over time and the ease of use will be a lot more easy <laughs> over time it's just a process it's the same with any industry whenever it's starting out things get increasingly easier to access over time so um, but with things being used to access, it's going to be less ROI return on investment for you later on. So with the risk higher right now, you're going to have a lot more to make. I believe Cardano as a whole, as a whole ecosystem with all these businesses built on Cardano is a 20x, a 20 to 50x over the course of the next few years, decades or whatever. I'm not sure how long exactly it will take, but you know. Possibly within the next decade, it could 20x. And over the long, long term, 50, 50x. Uh, Cardano right now is about a $40 billion market cap. It can get to over a trillion pretty easy, I think. It can get to multiple trillion because, you know, if you think about large businesses, like think about <clears throat> Google, think about Apple. Apple is a $2 trillion business by itself. And that's just one business. Cardano has multiple businesses that could disrupt tech, the whole tech industry. So if they have, say they have five businesses on there and each of those businesses are worth a trillion dollars, 
That is $5 trillion market cap <laughs> for Cardano. And right now it's at $40 billion. So if they have like 20 businesses that get to a trillion dollars, that's $20 trillion. That, that's, that's, you know, that, uh, that's a lot of Xing right there. I don't know how many Xs. If that's 100, 200 X, but that's a lot of Xing right there. So, and then also, last but not least, here's the roadmap. So April 2021, creation of smart contracts. You know, like I said earlier, it's in beta testing. Uh, Catalyst Fund Six. I didn't. I didn't really get into that because the video was already long. Uh, Plutus Contract Demo. <clears throat> um, I didn't really go into explain Plutus either because, man, I mean, people ain't watch the video anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, people tend to spans are already small, so I try to get these videos kind of short. I can talk about this stuff all day. July 2021 Security Audits Final Testing uh, Question Analysis. Indigo Protocol V1 mainnet launch. So the actual launch is supposed to be in August. There's no hard date for it, but, uh, you know, it's very exciting. Follow them on Twitter, Discord. It's uh, There's own Discord. I can probably set that up in the description too as well. And you can send them messages for questions. So, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the video. This is Indigo. I'm going to do a video on Liquid, Liquid Protocol too. And, and um, so... I'm going to really continue to dive into Cardano and make these videos for y'all to further explain Cardano. Don't get frustrated or upset right now because Cardano is complex. And if you're not a software engineer, a coder, like a super hardcore blockchain, crypto, internet, computer person, which I'm really, I didn't used to be. So it's going to take us a while to learn these things especially with such a young industry. But I think this is this is where the world's heading. And I think that it can potentially have us uh, a better way of life. So don't get frustrated. You'll learn all this. Um, and this is so much potential. And it can be so much better for the world. So I appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe would mean the world to me. Even if you want to share this video with your boy, with your girl, whatever like that. If they are someone who enjoys knowledge, who wants to learn about how the world's going to be in the future, then you can even share it. So, Logan O'Brien's out. Thanks, y'all.